Vermont. Senator Durbin. Senator Durbin. You have often been our ally in the fight for justice. Yes. We have counted on you to choose life over death. Yes. Justice over injustice. Yes. It's right. a fight for all of God's people. But Senator Durbin. Well. In our recent meetings with you over the past few months, you have failed to rule out a grand bargain that would cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And that ain't right. That ain't right. Those who repeatedly chant the mantra of budget balancing need to ask themselves honestly, what does it mean to balance a budget if we are balancing it on the backs of the most vulnerable members of our society? What, is it, what does it mean to balance a budget? Well, over the past 30 years, the top 1% of Americans saw their income increase by 224%. And the bottom 20 experienced a 7% loss in theirs. What does it mean to balance a budget? While the top 1% get a nearly a quarter of the nation's income and control 40% of the nation's wealth. Yes, balancing a budget is a fiscally responsible act. But how we balance the budget is a religiously responsible act. We're here today because as leaders of the people of God, we, we cannot stand by on the wayside while a battle is being waged for the soul of our nation. The battle I speak of is a conflict between the values of shared prosperity and the common good on the one hand and an attitude of winner take all on the other. The moral choices that are being made are whether to care for and support the least of these, the most vulnerable in our society, the marginalized, or to further enrich the wealthy and the powerful few. It ain't right. By allowing the Bush tax cuts to expire, legislators will expand the federal budget cuts, causing we in Illinois to lose over 15,000 HIV tests. Over 57,000 low-income children will see cuts in funding to their schools. 300,000 women and children will lose maternal and health care benefits and grants. This loss will not only continue to plunge folk into ruin and destruction, it will cost lives. People will die if these programs are not funded. That is why we are crying out right here, right now, today. The word of God says, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. Choose today whom you will serve. We choose God. We choose life. We choose ending the Bush tax cuts for the wealthiest 2%. Yeah. Senator Durbin, we ask you to choose. Uh -huh. Choose to stand with us. Yeah. Choose life and prosperity for all. Yeah. In the name of God, yeah. today, choose. Yeah. choose. Let the people of God say amen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.